<coughs> That's why I need you guys here. I would have went through a whole lecture without recording a single thing here. Then I go, oh no, I forgot. Yep. And let's say we have x, we have three functions, which is the summation of three, four, five, seven, ten, fourteen. And 15. And why summation of 157, 11, and 15? It says, we only need to go and get the expression for sum of product, which means I have to do a K-map for each one. There are four inputs, every one, because you can see, it goes to 15, right? Oh, okay, I thought you meant yeah. no, no. four variables. So four variables, yep, A, B, C, D. It says the only limitation is the number of AND gates. So if I can reduce the number of AND gates, I'm going to use that. Because you're limited by, on that board, how many AND gates you have there. So how do we do that? So let me go, let me pull one of my cheat sheet from the past that has this K map on it. Nope, that's not the one. I need the one for single. Come on, where's that sheet that has four K map on it? Oh, that's 31. Those are the, maybe it's on the bottom. I have them somewhere here. Yep, right there. So I'm going to do a K map for each one of these. Let's do one for W. Can you still see W there? There's this one for W. And I have A and B here, C and D. W has a value of 1 at 3 at 7, at 8, at 9, at 11, and at 15. And I know what you're thinking. I'll group these four, but be patient. Because I'm limited by the number of AND gates. X here equals 3. 4, 5, 7, 10, where's 10? 14, and 15. Again, I'll be patient with that. And let me do now Y. Here's Y. Now I'll start grouping them in a minute, in a minute there. One, five, seven, eleven, fifteen. So I got all the ones there. Since I'm limited by the number of gates, I'm going to be looking to see if I can, I can get a matching one somewhere. Because if I do have a matching one, I can save an AND gate. And let me look quickly and see if I can see some matching ones. I'll try to highlight them in color. Well, I see actually, because I got to take, notice if I group this one. There's some of them I don't have a choice, like this one. Right? Like this one. Uh, these two here. Uh, oh. The leftmost one on Y. On Y. 
the top one here? Yeah. I could. But now watch this. I have to take these two, right? I don't have a choice. If I take these two here, I'll mark it. I can also take these two here. Can you see them? That's the same two. Look at these two here. Can you see them? Those two cover those two. So there's no reason for me to take, take these four as one gate because I can break it down. I can take this because I have a gate for this and I'll have a gate for that one. Maybe I'll use these guys, put them together. A four input AND gate is having two AND gates put together. Now, let me see. Seven and 15. Yep, I can do these two here, and that'll be the same one for both of them. Does that cover them all? So now when I write the expression for them, for this one, I'm not going to take this as one group. I'm going to break it down to two groups. The first one, I'll do the red one here. And that's what? A is 1, B is 0. And what? C is 0. Add to it. The pink one here. The pink one is what? A is 1, C is 1, D is 1. Add to it. The yellow one here is 0, C, D. Let's look at this one. <coughs> the yellow one is what? A is 0, C, D. The blue one here is what? B, C, D. Add to it. The red and the red. This red one is what? A bar, B, C bar. And this red one down the bottom will be what? A, C, D bar. I forgot to put a blue color here so I know which one's which. So now for this one, the pink one, the pink is the first two here, A is 1, C, D, the blue one, that's what, B, C, D, plus the red one here, which is what, A bar, C bar, D. So notice I found the sum of product for each one. And I was looking for matching. Because, you know, you could have took this with this here. But that one helped me here. And I could have took to cover that one, I could have took this with this. That one helped me. By taking this and this, those are matching ones. I can use the same gate for both of them. So here we go. Now I'm going to get my chip here. PLA. Where's my chip? I printed some of these so I don't have to redraw them. Make it look pretty, because I don't like all that extra stuff with it. There we go. Let me graph that now. Leave this one handy. This is my PLA. I'm going to design that. Where's my scotch tape?
let's look at PLA. I have four inputs, A, B, C, D. This is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. Scan it. It doesn't just curl there. That will hold it from moving. So let's look at W first. So there's going to be three outputs W, X, and Y. W is going to have a value of 1 when it's A, B bar, C bar. So that's this one A, B bar, C bar. So A is right here. B bar and C bar. W will be 1. That's an AND gate. So that takes care. Hey. I never colored these here, huh? Which one? Is that the yellow one? A. The first. A bar. That's the yellow. Middle one is the pink one, okay. So now the next one is the pink one, A, C, D. A, C, D. And notice A, C, D is going to where? W and which one? And also Y, can you see it in Y? So let me go to Y, put a dot there. So I already got this one up oh, right here. Not the top one. Yep. Okay. I got in the wrong place twice. It goes right here. So I got this one covered. Now the yellow one, A bar C D. A bar, C, and D. That's the yellow one. Can you see where the yellow one is going? To W and X. W and X. So in this situation, it won't ever go to all of them? It could be some of them. One of them will go to all of them. You could, if it shows up in all three places, right? Well, if the ratio is going to be right, since you need it in 2, 4, 8, 16. I mean, you mean, the, yeah. I'm talking about dots on every one of these. Yeah. Is that, yeah, you could have that, sure. I could, for example, let's say here, if I had a 1 here, right? If I had a 1 here, I'll have a pink one that matches this, that matches that. So if I want that, somehow I made that also one, I'll do a pink one here that will cover this, this, and this. The same gate will cover both of them. And the blue one still cover that. Can you still use the same one for more than one place? Notice I did that here. I used that one for two places. Now the next one. So I covered... Now let's go to X here. We have B and C, B, C, D. That's a blue one. B, C, D. There's the B. There's the C. There's the D. And that blue one covers what? X and Y. Can you see it in both places? X and Y. I have A bar, B bar, C bar. That only covers X, A bar, B bar, C bar, and that goes to X. And I have one more for X, A, C, D bar. Oh, that was a B, yeah. Not B bar. I wrote it wrong here. That's a B. And A, C, D bar. A, C, D bar. And notice that's going to where? Only X. 
I already covered two of the gates in Y. Notice I use them somewhere else. I get the pink from here. I get the blue from here. So I only have to add one more, A bar, C bar, and D. And that'll be Y. A, oh, that's A. A bar, C bar, and D. So with PLA, again, you're only limited on that chip how many AND gates you have on it. Is the second class one A bar, C, D bar? Which one? A, C, D bar. The second class? Second A, C, D bar. A, C, D bar. Yep. Yep. The, the third class is A bar, B, C bar, right? A bar, A bar, B, C bar, yep. Yes, thank you. That's this one, A bar, B, C bar. Yep. Thank you. So notice, actually, that's why they don't want you writing the stuff. I'm just putting that just to show us, because to write this stuff, I can't even read my handwriting. It looked like an E to me here first when I looked at it, but that's C bar. But I can look at this one. Notice that's... That's this one, right? A bar, B, C bar. That's how you know from this picture. If I'm looking at that one, I go, let me look here. That's A bar, C, and D. So your chip comes in. It might have that many AND gates on it. If you just start grouping each one the way you feel like it, you will not have enough for that. So what you want to do is actually try to find some matching ones so you can use it more than one place so in case you have a bigger design. Okay, why, you, why group this one? Because I could have made this one group with two things on it, C and D. If I have some space left on that, I could have done it, no big deal. But what about if I use every one of them now? I have to buy another chip for just one gate. So you start looking. Again, if I didn't take this and this, I could have took these guys together. That's one more chip, I mean one more AND gate. I could have took this, that'd be another one. So you start to notice like increase, 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 soon enough you have not enough on the chip. That chip has a certain number of AND gates on it and you don't want to exceed them. So you try to look for matching ones and if you can find matching ones you can use in more than one place, it's perfect. That's the PLA. Let's look at PAL. That's a little bit longer video than this one. This one, you get the idea of it. Just try to find the sum of product for each one. Look for matching ones. Try to use them. Now I'm going to use 